What's happening, everybody? It's Johnny Snow in the building once again. I know I've been gone for a little bit, but the job doesn't have me. The job doesn't have me, but now I'm back, and I got something in from my gun, man. All right? It's been waiting on me, and it, it's been been up there waiting on me. He had to wait for me to get back in town, but I didn't got it. It's from Zastava Arms. All right? Let me go ahead and open this up. All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, of course, I can't read that writing. So I ain't going to even attempt. I could read this. Zastava Arms, USA. All right, here we go. We have uh, PEP 85. This is... The AK-47 that shoots 556-223. 556 So, basically, we got an AK that shoots AR-15 rounds. Hold on just a second. Let me toss this to the side. And sit this right here for now. All right. So you see it, and um, the box came with the manual. And you see you got the ZPAP 92, and you have the ZPAP 85. This one right here is the ZPAP 85 that shoots 556 five, by 45, 223 two, round. I already have the ZPAP 92. I already have the ZPAP 92. All right, and I, I really like both of these weapons. I really like both of these weapons. All right, you see my 92 sitting up top, and you see my 85 right there on the bottom. My 92 is a little bit different than the 85 right now. You know, so, um, of course, on the 92, I have the Kalashnikover wood. I actually have Kalashnikov Carver wood that I'm putting on my 85. And uh, I have the cheese grater on the top of my 92. Let me show you the cheese grater. I have the cheese grater on the top of my 92. I'm doing something a little bit different with my 85. And I have the vented barrel extension. I'm doing something a little bit different with the 85, all right? Now, I... um plan on making this a complete Johnny Snow original. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do some things to it. It's going to be awesome. And, you know, this is really, really, really going to be a work of art when I'm done with it. And um, this came with the rail on the top, came with the rail on the back, came with um, the crank style muzzle brake on it. And came with a lot of styrofoam everywhere. A lot of styrofoam all over this gun. So I'm going to have to clean it. But, you know, this is the one with the Bulls Trunnion. And I love this gun. You know, I'm serious. This gun is awesome. I, and this is all based on me loving my 92. So, you know, of course, I'm going to have to put everything together and get everything going on this one because you know this gun right here definitely is going to have some nice wood on it I'll let you see the wood that's going on it oh yeah oh yeah that is going to be awesome on it and let me show you the tip that is going on the front oh yeah that is going to look beautiful on it and um i have some more things that i'm doing to it uh but i tell you what give me a little break i'm gonna put a couple things on this gun and we'll see what it see what it looks like when i get done doing doing a couple of things to it hold up all right i'm back yeah I done 
went ahead and put a few parts on it, all right? So this is not the complete deal, of course. I still have a pistol grip that I'm putting on here. I still have a stock that I'm putting on here. And the piece on the front is going to be spot welded. So, you know, you don't have to worry about this um, SBR, you know, whatever, because I'm going to put the barrel length to compliance to where I can put an actual stock on this one. So, you know, I am coming right along, coming right along. And just to let you guys know what I have on here, I have, I have the grip from uh, Kalashna Carver. And let's see if you can see this. Midwest Industries gas tube. It's a railed gas tube. And the extension, um, the faux suppressor, is from uh, U.S. machine guns. All right. So I actually have a lot of stuff on the way for this one. I have new magazines. Uh, of course, like I said, I have the new pistol grip. I have the brace. I have some leather that I'm going to put on it. I have, you know, just a lot of stuff that's going to going to happen to this, you know, so. This is just me really toying around trying to trying to see exactly what direction I want this one to go. But the pistol grip is also wood and it's going to match this. So, you know, it's not going to be a mix match pistol grip. And I'm actually getting a wood pistol grip for my my M92 as well. Something to match the um, four grip. So, yeah, like I said, I'm just trying some different things and. Like I said, I know I haven't been, in a, you know, putting out videos in a minute, but that's just due to the job. The job had me. It, they, they had me all over the place. But now I got things coming back and I got things going. So, you know, much apologies for the delay. But truth be told, what I'm about to do is compare these two guns. I'm going to take them down to my undisclosed location and I'm going to light the engine up. Everybody wants me to light up the engine. Everybody wants me to shoot the engine. So we're going to do part two of that. We're going to shoot the engine up. We're going to shoot it with the Dracos because you know, I got three Dracos. I got both of these. We're going to shoot it with this. And, of course, we're going to shoot it with the wolf slugs out of the Comrade. So we're just going to go have a good time, go do all that. But let me know what you think about the new edition, the new Zestava. Yo, I know I'm, I'm thinking this. I'm not sure how I like this railed gas tube. Uh, um, it's going to have to grow on me because, you know, it's, I don't know. I don't know. It's like a cyborg. It looks half natural and half uh, mechanic. Uh, so, you know, just let me know what, what you think in the comments. Tell me if I should keep it or should I put a cheese grater on the top? Um, you know, tell me what you think about the wood. You know, I love the wood, you know, so, you know, ain't too much you can tell me about that. You know, can't tell me nothing about this. And it is empty. Got a few comments about how I don't clear my chamber. Well, the chamber is clear. The chamber is clear. So, there you have it. The first part of the customization of my M85. You know, let me know what you think. And if you have not subscribed to the channel already, hit that subscribe button, hit the notifications, and Johnny Snow up out of here.